Today our nation celebrates the birthday of our first president, George Washington. And I'm standing here beside a painting in our home of Washington praying at Valley Forge. A number of years ago, I had the opportunity to walk about those woods and get as close as it was possible to the place where he may have knelt in the snows. The reason why we know the prayer of Washington that day was because a Tory overheard him praying. A follower of the crown overheard the prayer and knew the revolution certainly was secured for the patriots if a man could pray like that. Well, you may not be president and I may not be president, but we get to go to the throne room of the Almighty. And that's today's 62nd Sermon.